What is up guys and welcome back to another re-challenges video with me, The Real Deal. So, it's two times sacred, we're going to be pulling shards. Um, this is our best chance to get the champions that we really want. I hope you guys get something really tasty and spicy to really boost your account and take you to the next level. Um, I know my luck has been awful for the like, last three months and I've not really pulled anything that I want. But that's going to change today, I hope. Um, so yeah, hopefully things are going to go in our way and we'll get something nice and juicy. So, first of all, I just want to say I'm going to be becoming a dad any day now. This is going to be my first child. I'm going to have this little man in my life and it's going to have a huge impact. It is going to be a huge game changer. Um, but yeah, it's all good. It's all positive. The only thing is it will sort of slow down my content for a little bit. Um, but, you know, that's how these things work. But... Things will pick up again. We will be having fun and laughs again in no time, I promise. Um, and, and the other thing I will say is um, there's loads of dis dads that I chat with on Discord. Uh, Seamus, he literally just had a baby like a few days ago. So big shout out to him. Uh, big shout out to Austin and Krusty uh, Gucci who are going to be having kids in the near future. Um, you know, it's going to be such a such an amazing experience for all of us. So big shout out to to all the dads, the 2B dads, and the already dads, and and the new dads. Um, yeah, so we're all in the same boat, and yeah, it is going to be like an amazing experience, and I can't wait for it, and I'm sure you guys are all feeling the same as well. But anyway, let's let's get back to raid. Let's uh, let's pull, start pulling some shards. So just before we do, we've only got 19 shards. Um, there is a 10 times chance to get with you as well. Um, she is an amazing champion. I absolutely love her. Um, she is so annoying in arena defense. Uh, I don't know if you've ever come across one and, you know, you kill the whole team, but you can't kill her. And then you're sort of just stuck in limbo and it's just a stalemate and you just have to lose. You just have to pass, hard pass. But she is a great champion. I'd love her on my account. Um, I've tried to pull her many times and have failed, but that may change today. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So yeah, let's start pulling. Let's go. Oh, breathe. Come on, come on. Okay, Achak, great champion, great for Spider. Um, I've not really, I've leveled him up, but no, he's, okay, here we go, here we go. Loser. Oh my god, 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 another Razin. <laughs> um, great champion for Clan Boss. Um, don't make the same mistake that I did. Did um, early on in my raid career, um, I pulled Null. Um, one of the champions you need, like, rares, you need to fuse for him, and I fed him, and then I didn't pull one for about eight months, and it took me ages to fuse Razin, um, so don't make that mistake, but yeah, he's a great champion, great for clan boss, um, I'd say that's where he really shines, and that's where I would definitely be using him, um, he's great in the arena as well, but yeah, clan boss is just like, oh, another royal guard, royal guard, absolutely slams, great for Hydra, Great for sort of um, higher end dungeon content. Just clears through those ways, especially like stages 20. And can still be usable in 25, but obviously his damage is reduced. Husk, another great champion. I use him all the time in Hydra. Um, absolutely slamming people. Really underrated champion. You just need to make sure that you build him properly. Lots of HP, lots of crit damage, 100% crit rate, decent amount of speed. You can put accuracy on him as well with his provoke. That's very useful as well. Vrask, another great champion. I use this guy in Bommel. Actually, I use him in a few uh, Dune Tower bosses. We also use him in Eternal Dragon. Um, he's a great, great champion. Okay, still got um, 11 shards. Come on, another, another legendary. Come on, I don't want no more dupes. I want something new. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. It is not looking good. Oh, God. It's starting to get painful now. Starting to feel it. Here we go. Come on, come on. Better oh, luck next time. Judas. Okay, this guy... I don't... I don't know. I've not used him, but he's been buffed recently, and I know that he, he hits hard. He hits really hard. So what does he do? Passive. Attacks inflict 25 more damage. Always counterattacks when attacked. Only viable when Venus is on the same team. So I don't have a Venus, so that's no good for me. So that doesn't really matter. Okay, so. Places uh, increased attack buff on this champion for two turns. Blah, blah, blah. blah. No, 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 no. Has a 50% chance of placing HP per debuff on 
all enemies for two turns. If this attack kills an enemy, this debuff cannot be resisted. Okay, it's quite cool, but like not super, super amazing. Okay, attacks all enemies and has a 75% chance of placing HP burn for debuff for two turns. Books up to 100%. Okay, so that's pretty solid. So he's like a HP burn uh, damage champion. Attacks all enemies. Damage increases by 15% if the target has any debuffs. Okay. I know that people like... It doesn't sound like super amazing to us, but I know people have been raving about him and apparently he does slam. So have to see about that. Okay, seven more sacreds. Come on, come on. Oh, Venom Age. Oh, God. I slept on that champion for a long time. Great champion. Can solo loads of content. Anything with uh, lizards, um, she will just carry. She's absolutely amazing. Um, Doom Tower, uh, Secret Room, like Room 4, all lizard factions, only epics. She is great carry for that. Also, um, there's a CVC... Um, CVC... Um, quest... Where basically you can only use lizard champions for um, on ice golem, um, so just twenty above. Stick in venom age in there, and you'll just walk for it, no problems. Okay, who is up next? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I know this champion's not really rated that highly, um, but apparently it does hit like pretty hard and stuff. So attacks all enemies, damage increased if the target is under, basically. Almost any form of CC. So it probably pairs up with like nicely with like, you know, who does freeze? Um oh, what is his name? Oh god. Come up him all the time in arena. It just annoys me. Oh that dwarf, what is his name? I'm just I'm just firing blanks at the moment. I honestly can't think of his name. But you know who I'm talking about. Void, legendary, um, freezes people all the time. I guess the other one would be like Umbral Enchantress. Um you know, she's great for provoking champions, so that's a good way to get more damage out of him. Attacks on enemies and has a 100% uh, well, chance of putting decreased uh, defense on them. So, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, A1, attacks on enemy and has 50% chance of placing stun. Okay, I know he's a bit sort of, I think his stats have been buffed recently, so he does more damage um, now. And he's a lot faster as well. So, interesting champion. After after test him out. So I'm not really loving the pools at the moment, but there's still a chance for another legendary. Come on. Uh, it's not happening, is it? It's not happening. Okay. Not this time, guys, unfortunately. Um, but quickly, shout out to Jareg, though. Jareg is a great champion as well. Uh, great for Lizard Faction Wars, Secret Room. Um, the CVC quest as well, um, but yeah, and like I actually use him in a lot of um, Doom Tower bosses and content as well. Great for Eternal Dragon, great, great champion. He can also be using Clan Boss as well. Has ally protection, and yeah, he uh, so ally protection also does uh, some continuous heals as well, increased defense and decreased attack as well. So great, great um, epic jar egg. But yeah, didn't really, really get any of the legendary series that I want. But I've got some new toys. So yeah, have a play around with them. See what happens. But yeah, hope you guys have better luck than me and really get one of those legendaries that are after. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.